Welcome to Personal Mastery Training. I'm your host, Alvin Brown, former world-class athlete turned entrepreneur and consultant. Join us as we learn from guests who have conquered their inner battles and share their journeys to success. Get ready for inspirational masterclasses and thought-provoking strategy sessions to fuel your path to personal mastery. Let's dive in. All right, today's a strategy session. In today's episode, we're going to delve into a powerful strategy for navigating life's expectations and how releasing them can lead to a life filled with fulfillment, growth, and personal mastery. So here's the deal. The other day I was in my coaching session with a client of mine and she dropped a bomb on me as we were talking about this idea of hope, resentment, disappointments in life. She left me with a quote from AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. It said this, expectations are premeditated resentments. I'm going to say it again because I want you to get it. Expectations are premeditated resentments. As soon as she dropped that on me, I said, yeah, I'm bringing that back to my community so we can chop it up, so we can eat it up, savor it, take it for the nutrients in it, and take it back to our game. Because how many times have you had expectations? You expected something to turn out a certain way. You expected someone to do a certain thing. You expect them to show up a certain way and give you this thing and and fill a need that you have. And it didn't work out that way. Most times you're lucky when you get lucky, it exceeds your expectations. But most times in life, we tend to set the bar so high that it fails for us. And so how do we combat this need, this expectation, this setting our goals so high and getting defeated by it? Let's talk about that. So we, then we throw in this whole idea of hope. What's the difference between expecting something and hoping it would be better? Because sometimes when things are bleak, it's nice to have hope that things are going to be better. But is that also setting us up for the same resentment? What's the difference? See, hope and expectations may, be, may seem similar, but there's a fundamental difference between the two. Hope is a positive feeling or desire for something to happen in the future. It's a belief that things will turn out well, even in the face of a little bit of uncertainty. Hope is all open-ended and allows room for possibilities, for embracing the idea that things may go exactly as planned. So that's hope. What's the difference though between that and expectations? On the other hand, expectations are specific outcomes or results that we anticipate or even demand. They're often rigid and fixed, carrying an implicit assumption that things must happen a certain way. Expectations can lead to disappointments and frustration if they're not met, whereas hope allows for flexibility, resilience, and more open-minded approach to life's unfolding, unexpected, unscripted journey. It's important to cultivate hope while being mindful of the potential limitations and pitfalls of expectations. So, what can we do to mitigate the strong pull that expectations can bring? How do we break the habit of living our lives always in expectancy? Oh, I expected when I got this job... It's going to go this way when I got married. It's going to go this way when I wrote that book. It's going to, everyone's going to pound the doors when I come up with this idea. Everyone's going to agree with me. Expect, expect, expect. We expect a certain outcome from an experience or service. You go to this high end place, you buy the car, you expect, you expect. And that can off, this is why this can set you up for resentment. When the thing doesn't quite hit the mark that we expect, we set the bar so high, we bought the high end this, we went to the high end, we paid more for this, and it doesn't work out that way. Expectation. You can see how it can steal your joy. But let me suggest five strategies for you to implement in your quest for personal mastery, especially over resentment. Step number one. In this strategy, it's about cultivating self-awareness. 
take a moment in your expectations to reflect on how expectations have influenced your life thus far. How have you gone through graduating, getting in a relationship, whatever it might be, and your expectations? It doesn't quite meet because you set it so high. Consider instances where expectations have resulted in disappointment, resentment, or a sense of not being fulfilled. By gaining the insight, by looking into it, don't get through it, get from it. These experiences, we can begin to understand the impact expectations have on our personal growth. Next, the second thing. Let's unravel the sources of our expectations. Are they rooted in societal pressures, comparisons with others, which is another thief of joy, or our own deeply ingrained beliefs? By identifying the origins of our expectations, we can consciously challenge and reshape them, reframe them, making room for personal mastery to flourish. Step three is involves embracing the beauty of uncertainty because life is uncertain. See, there's an illusion that we have control, complete illusion. We have no control. Life is a journey filled with unpredictable twists and turns and Look at your life. You wake up tomorrow, anything could happen. The You set your goals, but there are wishes and there are hopes that they turn out that way. Life is unscripted. Clinging to rigid expectations can hinder our ability to adapt and evolve. By letting go of our expectations, we liberate ourselves to embrace the unknown with open arms. Embracing uncertainty is where personal mastery truly begins. So, Get on that journey. All right, let's talk about step four. We focus on cultivating resilience. As we release expectations, we encounter setbacks and moments of doubt. However, by building resilience, we develop the tenacity and strength to bounce back from challenges. It's through these setbacks that we learn to the valuable lessons and continue to progress forward towards mastery. We have to fail forward. So Take those challenges that you didn't quite come up to par, but what can you learn from them? So the next time when you face it, you're going to win. Remember, don't get through it, get from it. Finally, the step five, nurturing a mindset of gratitude and acceptance. Instead of fixating on what we expected, we shift our focus to appreciate what we already have. I do this every morning. This mindset allows us to find contentment, in the present moment, right now, because that's all we have, and fosters a deeper sense of fulfillment. Accepting the journey as it unfolds, embracing the lessons and expressing gratitude are integral parts of personal mastery and getting that process built in of having gratitude, having what you feeling the feeling you want in advance of having it. What are you grateful for? And if you can't think anything, I did a podcast on this. If you're not, if you can't think of anything, which is crazy, how about waking up? How about an opportunity? Have a do over. And as the world is so crazy today, if you're able to even listen to this, that means you have free time. There's no, nothing over your heads, no bomb dropping, no impending danger, I hope. So that is out of your control. So there's lots to be grateful for. So start there. So as we conclude the episode of Personal Mastery PMT, I encourage you to embark on this transformative journey of releasing expectations. Let it go. Hope is fine. There's nothing wrong with hope. Hoping for something to be better, but expectation is so rigid. Embrace the power of letting go and open yourself up to vast possibilities that lie ahead of you. The road lies ahead of you. It's unscripted. Just go into it with a sense of hope and release the rigidity of expectations. Remember, personal mastery is a lifelong pursuit. And by freeing ourselves from expectations, our things should be, we create a space to grow, evolve, and unlock our true potential. I hope that adds value to you. If you're the person out there expecting your life to turn out a certain way and it didn't and you're stuck, release that. Start to become, like Brucey says, be like water fluid and ready to adapt because life oh my goodness life changes fast especially today with technology and our connection to each other it changes really fast so release the expectations 
and become fluid. All right. If you know somebody who is stuck because they expected things to turn out a certain way or a relationship to go a certain way and it's not, please share this episode. Let's build this community and let's all achieve that sense of mastery. All right. On to next time. Peace and love.